good afternoon welcome back to the channel um got a little job this morning uh, this afternoon um so worked at this house before uh, and this client has got two-way switching between this point and downstairs down there and when we come to put a new board in a little while ago um we found that they had a shared neutral um for both lighting circuits which was causing an issue because it's a split load board and obviously we want to divide the light circuits between the two RCDs and we weren't able to do that. Yes, there's two borrowed neutral or borrowed neutral from the downstairs to the upstairs light circuit. So what we're doing is um, we had to disconnect the two-way switching because the two circuits were on different RCDs and causing it to trip. So what we're doing today is the client doesn't want any other walls messed around with and we can't pull new cables in. So what we're going to do is disconnect the two-way switching Quinetic receivers with MK grid switches and uh, incorporate two way switching that way uh, to avoid any damage to walls, etc. etc. So uh, that's what we're going to do. But we've got the floor up because um, we need to get access to the light fitting on the downstairs in the hallway and obviously up in the loft as well. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. But I'll run through it as and when I. Um, get to that point and show you what I'm doing. Yeah, I've done a video on these before, so um, yeah, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure people know what, what they do these days, but I still find them quite interesting and amazing really that actually they do what they do. So um, yeah, so we'll crack on. All right, so what we've got down here is this is a junction box that supplies the downstairs hallway light. So this here goes down to a switch. This takes the power down to the switch, this live, this is all dead. Obviously someone's cut the earth off. And then this is the neutral. There must be another joint somewhere. So this feeds downstairs switch. This then is the loop. So what we're gonna do is this cable that supplies this light, we're gonna run it through here, between my legs. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna put a Way go uh, junction box here with the wireless connector in it or quinetic connector. Run it back down to the light, and then we're gonna obviously pair the switches to it. So, yeah, that's all we're gonna do. And we'll smart this junction box up into a maintenance free one because obviously at the moment it's not. So, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Right, so we've pulled some cables in. So we've got a supply and then a load from there, come down here, through here, and they've gone under and up here. So then what we're gonna do, we've got all these Wago boxes, the XL ones. <laughs> this might have to move over slightly. That's gonna mount there. They're gonna go into that, into the wireless kinetic receiver. And obviously, it's gonna act as a switch with the kinetic switch and yeah turn that light on so what we're going to do is mount this make some connections and then I'll come back to you right, so anyone who hasn't used these one of them before these are the 6 amp version wireless receivers so you have your live neutral in live neutral out that's going to mount it in that box that that on the wall the supply cable is going to come in to the light fitting over there that's how we're going to do it and then we're going to have a switch downstairs and a switch behind us upstairs two-way switching right so we've got the wago box on the wall this is where we are box on the wall cables are coming up and then we've got the kinetic receiver inside live neutral out live neutral and then the earths in a connector so what that's going to do that's going to sit in there like that we'll put the cover on put the cover on doesn't matter these single insulated because they're going to be inside an enclosure anyway um that's going to sit there and then we'll go over and connect those so the supply in which comes in and then load out so yeah 
that's what we can do and then we'll label this up when we're finished um, with what it is and why it's got inside so yeah that's where we are pretty straightforward but a nice easy solution for something which without ripping you know walls apart and all that sort of stuff running new cables so yeah it is what it is but yeah right so I remember joint under the floor so this has got my loop in loop out and the feed that goes to the receiver so I've used Swago 222's in a maintenance feed box so what I'm going to do is close it up cable tie it and then that can be maintenance free albeit you can still get access to it from that light feed in there but I want to make this maintenance free and then the loop the load coming back from the kinetic receiver is going to go in into here so yeah there we go so I'll get this all tidied away and then this one's almost done all right let's program these <laughs> press it on that should flash lovely that's that one done press that again let it flash lovely there we go So as you can see, we're up in the loft now. Previously partially, or did a upstairs rewire in this because there's no CPC. So fortunately, I know where a lot of this is. Let me get my phone, my torch. Uh, there we go. Right, so what we've got is switch, CPCs, neutrals, and knives. So we're going to tap into this. Um, put the Oigo box next to it with a kinetic receiver and then supply to our light this, this cable here goes down and under and then supplies that light there so yeah which can do exactly the same because as I say there's a borrowed neutral between the circuits so yeah that's what we're going to do Right, it's just a small uh, adaptation to this one. So we've disconnected the supply to the switch, which went this way. We put this in, which is gonna be the supply into the receiver. Then we're gonna have a bit of cable going back, which is then gonna connect to this and the neutral, which then goes down to the, uh, down to the light. So yeah, just a very, very quick adaptation to this circuit here. To install that, pair the switch switches to the receiver, and then the job's done. It's landing none as well. So again, all we've got up here is the same box. I'm gonna clip this cable back, label this up, connect receivers in there, feeds into that junction box which then feeds into that over there goes down to the light so yeah um, this is redundant light down to the switch so I'm going to take that out and uh, that's pretty much it so yeah I'm gonna label it all up I'll take some pictures when it's done and then uh, that'll be the end so yeah let's get it done so I've had to make this three gang or three gang one gang into a double into a double to make the MK grid fit because we've got two wireless and one for the outside light so yeah a little bit damaged but not too bad I just feel that Sorted. So yeah, and 
labelled out. Perfect. Right, that's this one done. So, um, yeah, just give you an idea how you can use these wireless switches to, to do bits and pieces. So, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, just helps build the channel and build a bit of following. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.